Welcome back everyone. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Today I decided I want to go ahead and rip another box of the 2022 Panini Donruss, the blaster box, the retail boxes. Tomorrow I will do my mail day from Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. Kind of want to get those um, two groups of cards situated, put together a little bit better, so that way I can have a good presentation for you. Anyway, this is a blaster box. Recently picked this up last week at Target for $24.99 plus tax. So 7% income or state uh, sales tax here in Indiana. Let you guys figure that one out. I think it came to $26.83 or something in that neighborhood. There you see 2021 champ Kyle Larson on the cover of the box. Unwrap one auto or mem card per box on average. Go ahead and do a quick zoom of the print run of everything, and there is a lot of nice stuff. Boy, wouldn't it be nice to get one of those downtown or a Marvel or a Blank Slate or a watercolor? I've, I've pulled one downtown a few couple years ago. It was a Kevin Harvick, I believe. Got the Lime Green Blasters, seven per box, one per pack on average. Of course, there's eight cards per pack, 56 cards total per box. Look for Blaster exclusives. There's the Lime Green ones. There's a nice Elite series. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and get our stuff going on here. Nothing inside there. We, I didn't even see a little security gimmick. So let's see here. Do we have a thicker pack? I think that one might feel kind of thick, but let's, let's see what we got going on. Maybe we're going to get an autograph this time, because that, that bottom one, this one doesn't look... Maybe it might be just slightly thicker, but we're going to go ahead and go with this. Of course, like that nice green color. Believe it or not, this camera actually makes this green look a lot nicer than what it does in person, so it really shows up well. All the information, like we say on the packs, is on the box. So if you guys want to read the odds, go back to the about a minute and hit pause and see what we got to look forward to. I said odds, but print runs. I'm going to start off with Brad K. Of course, he's driving for Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing this year. Not a new team, but a new addition to an existing team with Keselowski as one of the co-owners now. Alex LeBay, I didn't see him race at Charlotte this past week. I don't know uh, if he had other commitments or if it just wasn't a race on his schedule. Ryan Truex, who's been running exceptionally well in the number 18 car in the Xfinity series. Looks like we've got a green pulsar. Of course, Austin Dillon. Wouldn't expect anything else. Very nice looking card there. Those green pulsars are very sharp. And a gray border, Brittany Zamora. It's a nice looking card. Don't know if that's a recycled image or not. But Brittany Zamora. Tyler Ankrum, Lime Green. Green. Lime Green. Rated Rookie. I haven't even pulled the base of this yet. So we'll take that. And then, uh, got an Under the Lights. I thought that was a code card for a minute. For a minute. William Byron Optic. And our Under the Lights, we started the pack with Brad K, and we're going to end with Brad K, the bronze retail exclusive. So that Under the Lights series, a really, really nice series, really liking that insert set. <clears throat> There's our happy little code card, which we are going to move off screen, and I will enter it. Start off with Chase Briscoe, top five run. He's had uh, this, he's having a career season, of course, a win at Phoenix, a few other top five finishes. Almost won Bristol Dirt. Can't say, can't ask for much more for a second year driver. Ryan True, or M Ryan Truex, Martin Truex. This was taken at Coda last year in the rain. Of course, he had that bad crash where he ran into the back, of, or Cole Custer ran into the back of him, I believe. Haley Deegan, 81 Donruss throwback. Definitely a new image. Haven't seen that one yet. Ryan Newman, Race Kings. Gray Border, Michael McDowell, 81 throwback, baseball throwback, of course. Jesse Love, Lime Green Parallel, 81 throwback. Kyle Busch, Race Kings Optic. And our last card is a Kevin Harvick Action Packed, the uh, bronze retail version. So got some nice cards pack number two. Got five more packs to go. This is starting to almost be like Chronicles, where you're getting more inserts than you are base cards. But hey, I'll take it. Take it all day. 
see another green pulsar coming up. Jimmy Johnson starts us off 2022 Indy 500 Rookie of the Year. Heard there's a little bit of controversy in that as there were some more rookies that had much better finishes. Another Brittany Zamore. We had the gray version earlier, so now we have the base paper version. Michael Waltrip. This does look like a bit of an older image. Not sure what year this would have been. So it's from the Monster Energy Air. So that's going to be, give or take, what, 2015, 16-ish? Maybe a little bit before. Can't really remember. We have a green pulsar coming up of Sheldon Creed. And it's an optic green pulsar. Yeah, the other one was also an optic. <clears throat> Tyler Reddick. Gray border. <laughs> just just more Austin Dillons. We're going to pile them on here. Stack them high and watch them fly. Austin Dillon, lime green parallel. There's a nice Richard Petty optic. Looks like it's in really good shape. And then we have, oh wow, a Richard Petty uh, Elite Series checkerboard. I don't know if these are numbered or not. I'm going to look on the front again, but wow, that is a nice looking card. Let's see here. I don't see a number, but boy, that, that is a super... Getting some nice petties over here, so we'll, we'll take those. I can't hold on to the pack here. Definitely not. Definitely not like that Denny Hamlin that we pulled, the one of one. So we do have another code card back here. I'll try to get that removed. <clears throat> we start off with Tyler Reddick. I think Tyler's going to be the next first-time winner. He just got to get a little bit of luck on his side. There's this past weekend's winner, Denny Hamlin. Sam Mayer, second-year card. Sam finished third in the Xfinity race this past Sunday. I think Sam is going to be one of the next first-time winners in the Xfinity series. Oh, that's pretty nice looking. Green Optic Pulsar Chase Elliott. We have a gray border, Bobby Labonte, 81 throwback. Lime green of Jimmy Johnson. Santino Ferrucci, rated rookie Optic. It's a nice looking card. Of course, we pulled the auto the other day. And then we have, <clears throat> excuse me, have an Elite Series Jimmy Johnson Bronze Retail Version. Well, we got three more packs left. This has been a pretty good blaster. I will, uh, I got no problems with this blaster. I'll definitely be getting more of these when I see them. Daniel Suarez. I think Daniel uh, should win a race this year. Probably at one of the road courses. It seems to be his strong area. Bubba Wallace. I think if Bubba's going to win, it's going to be at Daytona or Talladega. <clears throat> of course, he did win Talladega in the fall. Up next, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in an 81 throwback. Rusty Wallace Race Kings. And I like how they do the Race Kings really well. They correspond the uh, color to, of the car card to the driver uniform. Got a green. Oh, wow. Tony Breidinger, green. 41. And it does... Oh, man. Panini, come on. 41 out of 99, you can do better than that. I think we see the next card. It's a little bit rough. Oh my gosh, Panini, you're, you, you guys got quality control issues here. You got to get it fixed. Get it together, guys. <clears throat> Zane Smith, Lime Green. Chase Elliott, Optic. And then a Denny Hamlin, Victory Lane, Bronze. Uh... Retail version, or blaster version, whatever you want to call it. I'm still disappointed about that Tony Brightinger. I'll still sleeve it up, but, you know, it's just a little sickening to get a good card like that out of a blaster. And, you know, somebody in quality control just didn't do their job. Pack number six is going to start out with Garrett Smithley. I think if Garrett could get a good ride, he'd be, you know, right up there. B.J. McLeod, Rated Rookie. First time B.J.'s on a trading card, a licensed trading card. Tony Stewart, Race Kings. Got a green pulsar. Who's it going to be? Sam Mayer. 
Again, we talked about Sam a little bit. Think he'll be a first-time winner soon. Gray border Jimmy Johnson. Who's our lime green going to be? My Carmen. Kind of all over the place with these lime greens. Brittany Zamora Optic. That's the third Brittany Zamora card we've had today. And our final card is a Ryan Blaney Contenders Bronze. Not, not final card of the day, final card of the pack. Now this pack does feel thicker, so I do think that we are getting a relic in this one. We'll have to see who that is here in just one moment. We'll get the code card off the back. We'll slide the relic to the back of the pack. And I do feel the relic. It is a feels like a piece of a tire. So we got Matty D starts us off. Gray border. Bubba Wallace, <clears throat> lime green. Race Kings. Bubba Wallace, optic. So we got the Bubba Wallace pack going on here. Oh, wow. Natalie Decker, checkerboard action pack. That's pretty nice. I, I, I like these action pack cards, but the checkerboard just makes it look so much nicer. So we got John Hunter, who is the card that was going to start off this pack. We'll flip him to the back, because it looks like we just got a couple more there. Ryan Truex, and 81 throwback of Tony Stewart. Before we do this, I want to see where my relic is. Okay, so I'm going to have to flip this over. And who is our relic going to be of... Will it be numbered? Will it be... Well, we know it's 2022 Donruss. We know it's Race Day Relics. I don't think this one's going to be numbered. It is going to be Todd Gilliland. Do not think I have a Todd Gilliland Relic card. Very nice. We will take that one. I think we mentioned the other day that a lot of the Relics in the Blasters, I think, generally are Truck Series, Xfinity Series drivers sometimes lower in cup guys. You can get some really good stuff out of the Blasters. Not saying this is bad. I do like Todd Gillen's stuff. Don't have much of it, but it's a nice addition. <clears throat> Got a Natalie Decker action packed, and I'm a little bummed about this one. I think we all are, Panini. So, uh, you know, we'll just... Nothing you can do about it. Lots of great inserts, though. That Petty's really sharp. That Petty's really sharp. Lots of good cards. So this was definitely a well worth the price of admission. A little bit longer video, but it's got a little more packs than what we normally do. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Come back and see us tomorrow because we will do the mail day from Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. Got some really cool stuff in... Uh, in the mystery packs that he had and in the breaks that we uh, participated in. So thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday and we will see you tomorrow.